We do love a free-to-play game, so long as it doesn't try to yoink all of your money. Although we mostly cover more role-playing style games here on the channel, but we actually do really also enjoy first-person shooters. We played a lot of PUBG, Battlefield, Call of Duty and others over the years, so this new and upcoming free-to-play arena shooter with a unique style and twist definitely caught our eye, so we thought some of you may be interested in hearing about it too. So if you do enjoy these kind of videos, definitely click like down below to show support and subscribe for all the great content we have planned for you guys over the next few days. Put in the comments what your favourite FPS game is and why. I'm not sure anything will top the Battlefield Bad Company series for me, but I'm forever hopeful. First thing is first, this game is a first person arena shooter being developed and published by Embark Studios, the same people behind the highly anticipated Ark Raiders game that you may have heard about. The game is set to be a squad based multiplayer shooter inspired heavily by sci-fi blood sport series such as the squad game and The Running Man. A cool thing about the game itself though is that there's also going to be a really heavy focus on destruction and pretty much everything in the game's map will be able to be destroyed. On top of this it's not just about shooting and the guns at your disposal, as a player you'll also have access to other weapons including melee with things like katanas, you'll also be able to use highly destructive weapons like rocket launchers and other crazy things like foam guns to repair walls or build to higher ground. There isn't much out there in the official trailer so do forgive us if there's some looping footage within this video. The creative director Gustav Tillaby said that we want to build a game that provides players with the tools to meaningfully interact, change and use their world. So this is a shooter, it's a game where aiming and shooting is important, but it's also a game where the player can use the environment and adapt to changes in the environment. So there's a much larger focus on the map itself, of course with lots of destruction and variety, more so than other games in this same type of genre. He goes on to say, we want the finals to be a game about intuitiveness. Wherever you think something should work, it probably will. Now this may surprise you because within the game itself, a normal match will feature four teams of three players each. The emphasis is that it's not a battle royale and it's not a military sim but more of an arena based shooter where the arena is forever changing due to players interactions with each other and the destruction. They describe the map as being hyper realistic virtual playgrounds and they're also based on real world iconic locations such as one of the maps being based on Hotel Monaco in Monte Carlo. Furthermore when you're playing a game within a map each different match will have different weather cycles and time of day so they should feel different to one another even when playing on the same map. Within a match you can also interact with physical objects like picking them up and throwing them and doing whatever your imagination leads to like setting them on fire and throwing them at other players. Much of the game will also run server side meaning your own PC or consoles won't explode under the pressure of whole buildings collapsing around you. However this does worry me slightly as server side movements and destruction in a multiplayer game if not done correctly could lead to a whole myriad of technical issues when it comes to an online shooter so this kind of thing does scare me but if it can be done right it's going to really push the boundaries of what is achievable in this type of game. The game itself will be released on PC, PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. So it's basically a next gen game, although now that's essentially just a current gen game, so I guess this is going to be the new norm for many games going forwards, and I can say myself the next gen consoles are a big step forward from the old gen, and of course I do understand how difficult they are to get a hold of, so if you are still looking for one I wish you the best of luck. We also wanted to let you guys know about this game because the finals is going to have a closed alpha playtest ahead of the game's official release date and the first round of testing has started on September 29th but they will likely be doing more in the future so if you want to try your luck and get to play it early go over to the Steam page for the game and simply request access there. Of course there's no guarantee that requesting access will get you picked but you have to be in it to win it so to speak. So we hope this one was interesting for you guys as it's something a little different than what we normally do on the channel, but we do have our eyes on this game to try it out, so once we can play it ourselves and learn more, we'll let you guys know what's up. And if you do want to see more, definitely tell us in the comments down below, or if there's any other games you would like to see on the channel, tell us down in the comments. And as said at the start of the video guys, we don't usually go in depth on these kind of FPS games, but we do genuinely love the genre itself, and this one from all of the information already explained, does seem to be somewhat unique and different to others within the genre, so we are genuinely excited to give it a try and see what's up in the game itself. Of course with the developers also working on Ark Raiders, we're very excited to try that game out 
part two. So these two are certainly on our radar and we wanted to let you guys know about it so you are on the same page as us. And do click like to show support if you did enjoy this video because it does help us out. And you can always subscribe to be part of the notification squad which also really helps us out so shout out to the notification squad. There's two videos on the screen now that just might be for you. If you did find this video interesting, helpful or you just never heard of this game before then the videos on screen now might just be for you. You don't have to but if you do want to check them out give them a click on the screen now and let us know what you think in the comments down below.